Hello, everybody. My name is Christopher Drain. I am part of the support team here at i and &E, and I'm going to be talking about some of the changes we have made to the REC scheduler. Okay, let's begin here by talking about some of the major improvements that we've made, and then we'll get into the demonstration. The first change was made to the start and end times of the REC sessions. You can now begin and end your sessions in 30-minute increments at any time of the day. The second was made to the minimum length of time you can schedule a RAC session. So you can start your session, say, at 1.30 and end at 2.30, because now you have the option of scheduling one-hour sessions. The third change is to our scheduling interface, which I can explain as I demonstrate. So let's get right to it. So nothing's changed here. Upper left-hand side of your INE homepage, go ahead and click RAC Rentals. As always, you have all the options of going in any track you want. Any scheduling button here will take you there. But in this case, we're going to go ahead and go to the voice. We're going to use this. Now, if you've never been there before, if you've never done this before, uh, there'll be a series of pop-ups that take you through each step that you need to take to schedule a session. But it happens only once. So I've already been through this before, so this, the pop-ups do not show up. But I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate for you now. So the first field is the start field. It always defaults to the first available time of that slot. Now, it may not be available, but that's where it defaults. In this case, to best demonstrate the capabilities of this new scheduler, we're going to go ahead and look farther into the future. So let's say November 4th, the week of the November 4th of November 4th. So if I want to see the entire five days, I'm going to need to start at 12 a.m. In the next field, which is the end time, again, if I want to see the entire five days, I'm going to need to go to the following day and set it to 12 a.m. So as you can see here, the output shows every available block of time within that week. And you can choose to break down any one of these available slots or blocks of time even further. So let me demonstrate. In this case, the 5th through the 6th, 6.30 a.m. that is, has an 18 hour block of time available. So you want to see what's available for the remainder of the 5th starting at 12.30. So let's go up here and just go the 5th, 12.30 p.m., done. Go up here, and we're going to see what's available for the 5th. Actually, excuse me, you have to go to the following day, 12 a.m. So you can see that that block of time from 12.30 on the 5th through the end of the day is all available. You can break that down even further by just going to the end time and going to the fifth and say you just want a five and a half hour session so that would mean go to the sixth six o'clock excuse me and go to p.m. and you can see that that five and a half hour session is available and you can certainly book that if you choose let's go ahead and book that to go through here it confirms the time and the amount of tokens go ahead and sit, click OK and in the upcoming sessions tab, you should get a confirmation. And it simply goes through the start time and date, what track, the duration. You can cancel if you choose, or you can directly go to the control panel to set your configuration. If you were to go back to the Rack Rentals link, that schedule will also show up in the upcoming rentals tab there as well. Nothing's changed there, that's the same. So once that refreshes, you can see that everything is the same as it was on the other page. So uh, let's go through the cancel process. I've changed my mind. You can certainly do that up to a half an hour before your session begins. You can cancel your session. So yes, go ahead and confirm if that is indeed the choice you want to make. Click OK. Your 17 tokens will be refunded or however many tokens it was for that session and everything resets 
back to where it was in both Rack Reynolds link and the scheduling link. As you can see, both are gone. 